Hello traders, Adam Hansen for ValorTrader.com and welcome to video 7 of our performance review of Avest in Forex Automated Systems. And this is the uh, fifth video where we are tracking it on our live account. Now if you remember from last week's video, we closed the week uh, with a uh, balance of $10,333. That was the week ending on the 24th of February and at that point we had uh, total number of trades at 37. Now if we just jump across to the statement, this is the week ending 3rd of March. So we close the week up, uh, balance of $10,481, uh, which I think equates to about 1.43% gain on the previous week's close. Total number of trades at 46. So we had 9 trades throughout the week. Uh, it's definitely improvement. Uh, we still have a little bit of a way to go uh, as we are since commencing the uh, the test. We are down still uh, about 8.6% since the test commenced. So if we just have a look at the VPS, we'll just have a look at some of the trades that we currently have open. Uh, now these uh, two sets of trades here, uh, dollar yen and also gold. Uh, they are trading under the Satoshi EA. Now if you're familiar with how that one works, what it does is it opens three separate positions and each trade having its own individual profit target. So the first trade in each of these sequences has been closed already for a profit. So we are just left with the remaining two and they are a carryover from uh, trading last week. And if we scroll down and have a look at some of the others we have, we've got two open, one on the Euro NZ and one on the Euro CAD also. And they are trading on the Gunnery A. Now, if you're familiar with how that one works, that's the more broker dependent uh, robot that invests in trades. However, if you remember from one of my previous videos a couple of weeks back, I did mention that Evo was working uh, to reduce the broker dependence of the Gunnery A so that it could be uh, traded across a number of different brokers uh, and uh, follow the trades that Avestin was taking. They uh, use Pepperstone and also Traders Way for uh, those trading out of the United States. So if we just head across to the track trades and we'll just have a look at what trades Avestin has actually taken. And we can see here that we've got one on EuroCAD and one on EuroNZ. Uh, the EuroCAD was opened at four minutes past one. Just have a look at the VPS, EuroCAD opened at 4 minutes past 1 and also EuroNZ opened at 11 minutes past 12 and EuroNZ 5 minutes past 12. Okay, so a subtle variation there but a vast improvement. I'm not 100% uh, certain whether the um, uh, the updates to the Gunnery A have taken effect as of yet. I'll have to contact Evo in regards to that. Uh, but we certainly are, or certainly seem to be following it a lot closer than what we have been. Although we haven't had many trades on the Gunnery A throughout our test, uh, they have what we have traded on it, there have been some, some variations. So it's at least good to see that we are trading the same uh, pairs and very, very similar entry points. So that's just about it for this video guys. I will have uh, both of these statements, uh, the one for the week ending the 24th of Feb and also the statement uh, for the week ending on the 3rd of March. I will have both of those below this video so that you can have a look at uh, both of those yourself. The numbers are improving slowly however we still have some work to do. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video guys please ensure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with how Vestin is performing. There's also the uh, full review, which you can see via our web website, which is www.valatrader.com. That's V-A-L-I trader.com. So that's it for this one, guys. Until the next video, trade safe and bye for now.